gear up because this is the Fuel Your Marketing Podcast, designed to accelerate sales and grow your business. Let's welcome your host, Artie Sharma. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Fuel Your Marketing Podcast. Today we're going to be talking about a topic that might make some content writers turn away in fear. I'm your host, Artie Sharma, and today I have with, with me uh, a subject which is a writer's block. Content writers have to create so much content in a month at our agency. Uh, Being blocked any hour of the day could mean some serious issues. That's why I've talked to our content team and gathered some of their tips for getting unblocked with three different kinds of blockages, right? When I talk about blockages, it's about your creative blockage. When you're not able to think, your your brain gets foggy, you are unable to uh, get into the zone of writing. And you know, blog copywriting, case study copywriting, ebook copywriting, These are some amazing tools for sales and uh, customer experience online. But at the end of the day, there is a whole lot of content that is being produced by writers who need to be in the zone, right? So content writers, um, if you're listening it, then uh, tune in because and stay till the end because I'm going to be sharing some strategies straight from our content team, which allows for us, uh, all of us, uh, to never get blocked again, right? Uh, And the odds are you've heard the phrase content is king more times than you can count. So I'd agree, um, you know, when I say that it's not just king, it's the kingdom as well. Uh, Content is everything if you're doing uh, search engine optimization, especially, and you're kind of using content to create conversion and automation through email marketing in your business. Because depending on what kind of content you're writing, there are some very useful tools for getting unblocked, uh, both on and off the internet. Uh, And for getting yourselves uh, unblocked, there is a a one tool that I really like. So let's start from the easiest to the hardest kind of, you know, blocked block tools. The tool that I really like is, uh, you know, you can go into uh, Answer the Public. And uh, when you look at the Answer the Public, you'd you'd listen to all those conversations that people are asking around a subject or a topic. And you could possibly simply just get into the zone and, uh, you know, start thinking and saying, oh, I can write about this. Or you could go to some SEO tools like Uber Suggest or uh, even SEM Rush if you are an agency trying to kind of get your content team to think differently. Uh, there is a new beta version in their in their console uh, around con- for content writers. So take a look at that. So those are the three tools. Uh, I mean, I was going to give you only one, but hey, th- three are three are really good. So um, so answer the public, SEM Rush, Uber Suggest. You know, look at those tools. Now, uh, when you we're kind of you know that's from the tools standpoint, right? I mean, tools can only take you that far. Uh, and if you are one of those uh, perfectionists, uh, you've done everything. Um, you know, and uh, except to, for finishing it, you keep going over your piece and it just doesn't feel right or it's not as tight and crisp as you'd liked it to to be and you're again stuck in a, in a writer's block, right? So my first piece of advice would be to have someone else take a look at it. And if, and, and if you can, then you know what, just, uh, you know, uh, Make, take a two-minute break or five-minute break and just go back to it after you've kind of, you know, uh, cleared up your mind. Um, or maybe take a half an hour break, do something else that feeds your soul. And then when you come back to it, it'll be a fresh perspective. So so, so do that. It'd take some time and get back to your content later. But uh, again, there is another way you could do is try reading your piece backwards. Your eyes get used to of how you've written the content. You're so close to it that you could possibly be only seeing errors and your brain starts to kind of get again, um, uh, you know, uh, foggy, and you only see those errors, right, or the, or, the, or, the, or the places for improvement into the background. But by reading it backwards, you break away from that familiarity, right? Um, the other way to get unstuck is um, this, in this blockages, is that you do have uh, certain apps that are available. So, so take a look at some editing apps for, uh, you know, um, for you, uh, upload those, that, those pieces of content and see what could be other ways of uh, evolving or improving that content. Uh, one one app that we really like is Hemingway app. It uh, identifies things like passive voice, sentences that are hard to read, repetition of words. Uh, you know, it, I mean, I've been told that it's a lifesaver when you just don't have the energy or, uh, you know, your, your kind of creativity gets stuck and you're on a shorter timeline. Sometimes, you know, these kind of apps, again, artificial intelligence in play uh, allows you to Uh, make those adjustments to your content fairly quickly. You just cannot rely on that app uh, fully. You have to have a piece of content or some ideas to kind of create that, uh, create that piece. Uh, But again, as I said, it could get you 
thinking differently. Um, so, so you, you know, sometimes uh, the other block that I h- I've heard from the content writers and the content team is that you have a topic, you know what you really want to do with the piece. Maybe you have the key phrases that you want to include. Uh, you want to answer areas that people may be looking and checking online, uh, but you can't get anything written down. You know, it, it either could be a difficult topic, something that is not in your zone of genius. And a great way to get out of this state is without using technologies to do a free writing. You know, uh, in a free write, you would write until you can't write anymore or until the timer you've set for yourself is up. So, so if you're going to do this, you should have no objective whatsoever. It's just to kind of get kind of a brain dump, you know, and it's not structured, but but the structure comes after. The most structured uh, should should be should be is that it, it is to, you know your structure should be to focus on whatever comes to your mind. You write it and then you go back and see if this makes sense and there's some some ideas that you can evolve and grow um, and you know write maybe more on, and then try to restrict. Uh, you know, at a certain point, of course, because you don't want to be keep, you don't want to be just writing and rambling in, in a free writing style. So give it a shorter restriction, uh, set a timer, free write, and then go back to the free write and structure it and get the most out of it. And then from there, uh, you know, maybe that, that might help you generate more uh, momentum. So by doing so, you have two advantages, like you've written something uh, and a lot of uh, you know, a lot of writers don't even get started on topics that don't interest them. So this helps because you've re- you've written something and then gives you the momentum you need to keep going. And then uh, the other aspect is that, uh, you know, among all the stream of consciousness nonsense, uh, as you will, uh, you'll probably have something you can use, right? If uh, even if it's just a very small fragment, you still have more than you had before. And and I always say, you know, one of my, I've said this before uh, as well, initiation gets inspiration. So when you start something and you've got some momentum going, it just inspires you to write a little bit more, right? Uh, and another method and a tool that helps our writers is going on BuzzSumo and searching their topic. The best rated content pertaining to that uh, that topic will pop up to the top. You can take some ideas from there and start to kind of get your creative juices flowing. Uh, then try maybe freestyle writing at that time and then, you know, structure your data. So work it backwards. So skimming through this can really help you, um, you know, help you going. And uh, these results really help, uh, um, you know, get get more momentum uh, in a shorter span of time rather than just giving up completely on a subject matter and then, you know, missing a deadline or two. And uh, and that's not um, that's not a happy space for anybody. Right. So so that could be a way to go. So. Um, so, yeah, this is a very classic approach, but uh, works every time. Um, again, there's another, uh, you know, topic that we uh, discuss often in our agency is uh, when you only have, um, you know, just the topic itself. You don't have uh, what exactly should go in and what angle can you take. You have nothing to go on and you can't get any ideas even when you look at the work that would otherwise uh, inspire you, right? So this blockage makes things really personal. It makes you feel like you just can't hack it. You might find yourself asking things like, what's the point? Or am I even really good at good at it? Or am I a writer? Really? You know, I, I know that sometimes people come back and say, oh my goodness, I don't even know if I can write ever again. Um, so, so don't take it personally. I mean, you know, uh, sometimes we all go through this. And in cases like this, it might be best to drop writing entirely and do something different, as I mentioned, come back to it, you know. Uh, and if you're a business owner who does that for your business, and you kind of, you know, want to write, um, I find that, um, you know, finding my energy and then writing when my energy is really up and really high is uh, uh, is helpful because uh, some sometimes you know you want to start writing and you put a time and date in your calendar, but that's the lowest energy level that you have, and you're not creative at that stage. So so maybe change the timing when you allocate to writing for your business or writing for your blog or your company or your you know your newsletter. So so in cases like that, it might be helpful to just evaluate that and then uh, maybe shift things around on your calendar. Um, 
this might sound like the, you know, just give it time or technique that, you know, is uh, more passive. But um, I spoke about it earlier that, uh, you know, your energy plays a big role in uh, how you function and your, you operate your days. For some people, we're morning people. Some people are evening people, you know, do what works really for you. And then, uh, and then uh, try and uh, use the tools and different tools to inspire yourself. And then once you get the momentum, then uh, I don't see any reasons for you to not be able to write. We all have a story to tell. We all have creative side to us. Uh, and, you know, uh, sometimes it, it's just a little bit of that push that is needed um, uh, to stimulate our thinking and to get some things uh, out of our system, right? So so some things that have hel helped our writers, um, which is, um, you know, they gave me a list. I'm going to say that is uh, grabbing a cup of coffee, going for a quick walk around the office, uh, playing a short kind of a game online, <laughs> a drawing, listening to a music or, um, you know, and I know that one of our writers, uh, he sometimes uses his uh, lunch hour uh, uh, to watch maybe his favorite show and just say, you know what, I'm going to go uh, enjoy my lunch in solitude, watch watch a show and then uh, just get back inspired, right? Uh, for me, I know that uh, taking a quick five minute nap at my desk helps sometimes freshen up my mind. And um, so the goal is to just break the despair, right? Um, you know, and the Though it's all the better if your activity is something that uh, kind of energizes you and uh, that, that creative part of your brain. But um, again, I've shared a few tools like Answer the Public, Buzz Sumo, SEM Rush, uh, Uber Suggest to kind of, you know, get some online help and online solutions for pure, fast idea generation. Uh, you put in your topic and, you know, these tools uh, in most cases spit out a whole library of terms and phrases relating to what you put in. Uh, it is artificial intelligence generated, so sometimes it doesn't totally make sense. So, uh, you know, take what you can, uh, but if you can still be great for taking, uh, you know, kind of, you know, getting you started at least, right? It generates your results and lists also, so you can possibly kind of swift through them fairly quickly. And, and if you're in a paid version, some of these tools allow you to download them in an Excel format and, you know, just do all the uh, data mining from there. Um, so again, um, you know, that, that, that hopefully was, uh, was a helpful tip as well. And I kind of, you know, when I was uh, interviewing some of the um, writers in-house, uh, I was kind of amazed at how much time and effort that goes into content production. And uh, yeah, when you're doing the same thing again and again, you got to find a kind of a way to break that so that you can become more creative and come back to that creativity uh, and do your best, right? So, um, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to ask you to stop listening to this podcast, uh, check out these tools and uh, go ahead and write um, because this is just a simple taste of what can help you get out of uh, your writer's uh, block. And if you have anything that you love to use that I haven't covered, I'd love to hear what you've come, you can come up with. I uh, would love to, again, uh, uh, get to know you and your ideas better. So leave us a comment and share that with your family and friends and your colleagues who enjoy writing. Um, again, with that said, it's a wrap from my end. Thank you for listening, and uh, I shall see you at the next podcast very soon. Thank you for listening to the Fuel Your Marketing podcast. For more episodes, visit www.fuelyourmarketing.com.